Uh, when Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean wide, you know what he told the Indians when he reached the other side? You won't know what you're missing if you don't see Nords. <laughs> Transcribed from Hollywood, Nord, a division of Borg Warner, manufacturers of America's most modern automatic and ringer washers, gas and electric ranges, water heaters, and home freezers. Originators and world's largest manufacturers of self-defrosting refrigerators, Nord presents the Red Skelton Radio Show. With Red Skelton, David Rose, Miss Orchestra, Lorene Tuttle, Pat McGeehan, and the Smith Twins will be me, Rod O'Connor. Now the star of our program, Red Skelton. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's, I get a big kick out of being on just before Bing Crosby. Yeah. <laughs> They'll listen to the groaner, and now they're going to hear the moaner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How can you laugh when you've just been fired? <laughs> Look, just read what's there, bum. Or, <laughs> or the, what's there ain't going to be there for you to read. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do today, Red? Well, I spent the day with the kids while Georgia went shopping. Was it boring? No, I really enjoyed it myself. I meant, was it boring for the kids? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you as soon as I find a place. <laughs> I don't think they were, uh, were bored with me. However, about an hour after I'd been with them, mm-hmm. Valentina took Richard in the other room, and I heard her whisper to him, says, Richie, you got to humor him along. Mm-hmm. He's not an Arthur Godfrey, but laugh at his jokes. <laughs> well, how did you entertain your offspring? Well, I spent the first hour telling them jokes, and then the second hour I spent trying to uh, wake them up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why Georgia has so much trouble getting them to take their nap. They doze right off on my third uh-huh. joke. <laughs> well, didn't you play any games with them? Oh, yeah, we played tiddlywinks. I won three games in a row. That's before Richard caught me playing with loaded loaded piddly. <laughs> <laughs> I said tiddlies, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> then I fixed them their lunch. You fixed lunch? Yeah, I fixed lunch. What did you serve them? Uh, liverwurst sandwiches and cold beer. <laughs> but red children don't drink beer. They don't. No. Well, that explains why Valentina told me that they were on the wagon. Oh. <laughs> didn't want to hurt my feelings, I guess. Oh, brother, you sure don't know much about how to handle kids, do you? That's why I decided to spend more time with mine. You know, children nowadays are smarter than we were when we were kids. Why, when I was uh, Valentina's age, I didn't know what two and two was. What is two and two? Wait, I'll get a pencil. (laughs) (laughs) You know, Valentina and Richard, they're both in kindergarten this year. Mm -hmm. She's majoring in sand piles. (laughs) How about that? Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I was sort of hoping that she'd take up something more important like... Beads stringing. <laughs> what, is your... <laughs> what does your boy want to be when he grows up? A comedian? No, he wants to be just like his dad. I thought he wanted to be a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> you read my part, will you? <laughs> well, now let's see. Uh, what, what does your boy want to be when he grows up? He doesn't want to grow up. He likes it the way it is with me supporting him. <laughs> I'm sure proud of him, though. I'm sure glad Sylvia and I had a child. <laughs> Every time I see her name, I, I always think it's saliva. <laughs> oh, yeah, Roger says that oh, the kid's a spitting image of her. <laughs> I'm sure glad Sylvia and I had a child. Uh, <laughs> You're expecting something else? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Say, uh, <laughs> Red, that reminds me. I want to show you a horse my boy drew the other day. Look at it. That's a horse? Richard drew something that looked like that the other day, only he called it an alligator. <laughs> oh, go on. You're just jealous because my son is smarter than uh, your son. I don't like to brag about Richard, but let's face it, my kid's a genius. My son can sing the Star Spangled Banner. Now, you don't expect me to believe that. Why not? My kid hasn't finished writing it yet. <laughs> Oh, Red, we shouldn't brag about our kids Yeah, like I guess this. you're right. Let's talk about Mrs. Rose's son, David. He and his orchestra are going to play David's arrangement of The World is Waiting for the Sunrise. I should have said Sunset Bus. <laughs> Did you ever stop to think what a lot of gas it takes to keep the pilot light burning on your gas range 24 hours a day? Of course, if the only alternative was fumbling for matches, you'd choose the pilot light. But the new Nord self-starter gas range needs neither pilot lights nor matches. Electricity lights the gas. A tiny electric coil in the oven and another for the top burners lights the gas instantly at the touch of a button. And this thrifty, convenient Nord self-starter is so safe it won this year's National Home Safety Award. The self-starter is only one of the extra value features you get in a new Norge gas range. The unusually roomy balanced heat oven is so expertly designed and insulated you can brown foods evenly any place at any temperature setting. Why, you can even bake six perfect cake layers at once. And Norge's famous spiralator burners actually cook faster with less gas. If you're even thinking about buying a new gas range, You'd better see the new Nord self-starter at your dealers. Because you won't know what you're missing if you don't see Nord. From the Skelton Scrapbook of Satire, a story entitled People Who Brag. Chapter one is about a cowboy who never fired a gun but always shot off his mouth. <laughs> Dead Eye from Texas. <laughs> Come on, horse <laughs> You keep going, boy. There's a glue factory just ahead there. <laughs> All right, get your hoof out of my mouth. 
Hey, did I? Yeah. There's the wild coyote saloon we've been looking for. Yeah, let's go over there. See if we can uh, find that guy, Three Finger Jack. The guy who stole my gal and my gold down in Texas. <laughs> I hope you're paying attention because this is the plot. <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to get that guy that stole my gal and my gold down in Texas. Take it or leave it. They sure are proud in this saloon, ain't they? That's my favorite song, Clara de Loon. They did, eh? Hey? Look at that bartender. He looks mighty tough. Yeah. He's even got muscles on his cow legs. <laughs> I think I'll go over and sample the free lunch. Oh, did you read that sign? Free lunch, easy terms. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't want to disturb them flies anyhow. <laughs> you know something? I don't feel safe in here. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. I'm from Texas. <laughs> feel the muscles in my arm. All right, let me see. Well, not so hard. <laughs> You're making my ears puff up. <laughs> hey, bartender. Yeah? I'll have one of them rattlesnake frappes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, straight alcohol with a black widow spider riding the olive. <laughs> okay. Put that cigarette out before I pour it. <laughs> Here you are. Okay. Boy, I better hurry and drink it before it melts the glass. <laughs> well, up to the lips and over the gums. Look out, stomach, here she comes. <laughs> hey, boy, get it. <laughs> Give me my chaser, will you, quick? You just had your chaser. Here's your drink. <laughs> Never mind, I ain't got no stomach anymore. Hey, did I? Take a gander at that gal that just come out of that office. Yeah, I did. She does look like a gander, don't she? <laughs> find out who she is. She's coming this way. Well, that's what I get for washing my feet. <laughs> Hello there, Paul, Doc, and Bow-Legged. Can I do anything for you? Hmm? You just did. <laughs> you look mighty familiar, lady. Your name wouldn't have to be Susabelle, would it? From Texas. That's me in the flesh. Sort of a loose fit, too, if you ask me. <laughs> You're mighty pretty, though. There's something, uh, suffocated about you. <clears throat> something... <laughs> something sophisticated about you. <laughs> I guess it's the way you chew your tobacco. <laughs> Tell me, stranger, you a cow puncher? No, I slap gophers. <laughs> I work for a dairy farm, the one that has them contented cows. Do tell. Yeah. What do you do there? Oh, I just stand around and let the cows look at me. Makes them contented that they're cows. <laughs> Tell you the way the price of milk is now, them cows ain't contented. <laughs> They're conceited. Oh, dead eye. You ain't changed a bit. You're still young and repulsive. You called me, dead eye. You recognize me, Gail? Yeah. I thought it was you when I first saw you. But it's been a long time since I jilted you. Yeah. I ain't had a good jilting since. <laughs> you jilted me about eight years ago, didn't you, gal? What have you been doing? Eight years. <laughs> <laughs> I got too old for good behavior, though. 
You ain't sore, are you, did I? Little saddle sore. I've been riding all day. <laughs> well, I mean you ain't sore at me for throwing you over like I did. No, I ain't mad. Just to show you there's no hard feelings, I brought you a present. Oh, how lovely. What is it? It's a pearl necklace. You like it? Yeah. But shouldn't you have taken the pearls out of the oysters first? <laughs> well, I didn't have the heart. You see, they weren't weaned yet. <laughs> they tell me, is a uh, three-fingered Jack here? Oh, yes. But no trouble, Dead Eye. I'm out to get him, gal. <gasps> Dead Eye, they're loading your gun. Yeah, but I'm giving them a break. I'm using soft water. <laughs> no, Dead Eye, don't do it. Don't hold me back. Let me go. I'm not touching you. Oh, I'm standing on my own tie. <laughs> Stand aside, everybody. Hey, look, dead eyes, it's none of my business, but Three Finger Jack is a tough hombre. He don't scare me none. Where I come from, they're so tough, anybody with a complete face is a tourist. <laughs> well, I've stalled long enough. Step aside, boys. Who's there? Can't you tell them a voice? Yes, ma'am. Come in. <laughs> I hate these cramped quarters. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot to close the door. Yeah. Boy, what long arms I must have. <laughs> What's your complaint, cowboy? Roulette tables downstairs don't look right to me. Are you suggesting that roulette table is crooked? No, you can't help it if a customer puts his money on the black or the red and the only color on the wheel is chartreuse. <laughs> and what are you clearing up my office for, Cactus Head? I'm dead eye. You don't have to tell me. I'd recognize you with one eye closed. You mean I'm only half safe? <laughs> you still think you're as tough as ever, don't you? Yeah, I'm the roughest, toughest, most despicable hombre that ever defied the unconstitutional laws of the West. Them's hard words. I know, but I got them out. <laughs> <laughs> I think you better leave now, Dead Eye. This town ain't big enough for both of us. Oh, it ain't, huh? No, it ain't. You mean that? Yes, I mean it. This town ain't big enough for both of us. It looks like I'm going to have to leave, don't I? <laughs> now, look, Dead Eye, I don't want any trouble. Here, take this $50,000 and get going. Oh, no, you don't. I'm wise to that trick. I turned to go out and you plugged me in the back and claim it was a robbery. Where'd you learn that? From the Dalton brothers? No, from the Warner brothers. <laughs> I warn you, Dead Eye, I'm fast in the draw and I'm a good shot. I'm a good shot, too. But I never use my shooting irons unless I really have to. I'll give you a reason. Now reach for your shooting iron. If you don't mind, I'll have to bend over my pants just for a <laughs> Look, Dad, I was only kidding you. I'm giving you back everything I took from you. Here are the keys to the place. It's all yours, including the gal, Susie Bell. I heard that. So you don't love me, eh, Three Finger? I'll show you, you two-timing snake in the sand. <laughs> Well, look at old Butterball Bounce. Who's <laughs> a bell? I didn't know you could sew. Them's the best permanent buttonholes I ever saw. <laughs> you sure are handy with them bullets. Oh, did I? Nothing can ever keep us apart again. Well, did I? There's the guy that cheated you, and you finally got the gas. What more do you want for complete happiness? Just this. Did I? I think we got a customer. <laughs> I knew this show was long, but I didn't think it was that long. <laughs> Did I? What have you done? I just shot the guy that wrote this stuff. <laughs> Now, the Smith Twins. One day 
I went meandering to find myself a man. A handsome guy to share my kiss and love me when he can. The lonely spinster life I led began to get me down. I bought a dress and I confess I went right into town. I went meandering, meandering. Looking far and wide for a man to stand beside. I went meandering, meandering. Far from the old folks at home. I came across a handsome guy who said he loved me so. But he would bring his mother with us everywhere we go. I was so happy when he asked if I would be his wife. But when he told me that his mom would live with us for life, I went meandering, meandering. Looking far and wide for a man to stand beside. I went meandering, meandering. Far from the old folks at home. I met a wealthy fellow who was charming and divine. I kissed him once and then I knew I'd have to make him mine. I set the date and couldn't wait till he belonged to me. But when he told me I'd be wifey number 23, I went meandering, meandering. Looking far and wide for a man to stand beside, I went meandering, meandering, far from the old folks at home. Far from the old folks at home. Far from the old folks at home. Now for that weekly homemaker hint from Jane Masters, co-director of the Norge Home Economics Department. Here's a trick to remember next time you cook rice. Grease the inside of the saucepan thoroughly with butter or margarine all the way to the top before you put in the boiling water and rice. The rice won't stick to the pan and it won't bubble over the top. And that reminds me, Rod, won't you tell our listeners how the Norge spiralator burners help to keep pans clean on the outside? It's a pleasure. Those spiralator burners, exclusive with Norge, focus the flame like a spotlight under any size pan. So no matter how high you turn the gas, it never spills over the sides of your pans to make smudges that have to be cleaned off. Foods cook faster with less gas because all the heat is concentrated right where you want it. Norge's quick simmer safety valves provide any degree of heat instantly from a slow simmer to a fast boil. Get your Norge dealer to show you the beautiful new self-starter model, the gas range that lights electrically. You won't know what you're missing if you don't see Norge. Our last chapter of People Who Brag is about a punch-drunk fighter by the name of Cauliflower McPug. Oh, there's Cauliflower now boxing himself in front of a mirror. I better stop him before he hurts himself. Hey, Cauliflower! Yeah, keep out of this, referee. Keep out of this. I just about got this bum lit. Oh, the bell saved him, boy. <laughs> Cauliflower, don't you know you're boxing a mirror? Oh, I thought that guy had a glass jaw when I hit him there. <laughs> hey, tell me, where'd you get the black eye in a fight? Well, where'd you think I got it on a punch, boy? <laughs> I got it in a bout last night at Pismo Beach. I was fighting a guy down there named Babyface Irving. We mm-hmm. call him Babyface because he only got one tooth. <laughs> Did you win? I don't know. They forgot to tell me when I came to. <laughs> I should have won, but it was a bum decision, you know. They give it to the other guy on a technicality. Just because I was unconscious. <laughs> How about that? I was unconscious. <laughs> I was just acting normal. <laughs> well, tell me, are you really a pugilist? Coming in. Pugilist. P U. That's me. <laughs> Tell me, uh, don't you think it's about time you hung up those gloves? I might hang them up someday. Yeah, don't worry, get around to that. Mm-hmm. You know, don't worry about me. I'll quit before I get too many punches. You know, you can stay in the racket too long. Some guys stay in the ring until they start hearing bells and boys. Not me, no boy. I will give up you one fight game before I start hearing Belgian boys. Mm-hmm. Answer the phone. 
Were you ever any good as a fighter? If there's no phone in here, put one in before it stops ringing, will you? <laughs> didn't answer my question. What's that? I say, were you any good as a fighter? Oh, sure. I could have taken the middleweight crown, except uh, I got some bad breaks. What happened? My jaw was broken ten places. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about getting a jaw broken. Your jaw looks all right now. Oh, well, except it should be below my lip. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some guy said that I, I might be another Jim, Jim Corbett. Jim Corbett? Jim Corbett. Mm-hmm. How about that? Me, another Jim Corbett. Jimmy Corbett, boy. How about that? Me, me. A uh, Corbett. <laughs> Who's Jim Corbett? <laughs> <laughs> You know, the other day, I was doing, oh boy, a flock of them over that. Have you had any fights this week? Well, the other day, they said it must be a pretty big fire. What do you mean, big fire? <laughs> They've been going by all morning. <laughs> What's that? I said, have you had any fights this week? Only with my wife. But I'm fighting her again next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I win, I get a shot at her mother on wrestling and television. Oh, oh God, you know. Where them Swiss bell ringers come from? Tell me something, color. Oh, a flamingo! <laughs> Do you have any children? Uh, I guess that's what you'd call them, yes. <laughs> How about you? Well, I have a little boy. Do too. You have a little boy? Mm-hmm. I got a little boy, too. Maybe it's the same kid. <laughs> As my mother said when I was born, isn't this strange? <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, I didn't know we were related. <laughs> oh, mother. Have you ever been knocked out by anybody in a fight, or have you ever knocked anybody out yourself? Only once. I was swinging like a windmill, see, and I landed one right on its chin. And this guy was tricky, though. Yeah? He's very tricky. He throws a terrific right, and I cleverly block it with my eye. <laughs> You say you landed one right on the guy's chin. Right was on you, his chin. Was he surprised? Wouldn't you be surprised to see a guy knock himself out? <laughs> this guy would... Uh, uh, oh, take off your hat. They're towing a bell for somebody. <laughs> Look, there aren't any bells ringing. There aren't any bells ringing. You want to bet? Sure. Okay, the good humor man coming. We'll let him hold the money. <laughs> You're punchy. What's that? You're punchy. You think I've lost my marbles, huh? Yeah. You should see them guys down at that gymnasium. Oh, boy, them guys going. Poor Tucker, that rattler down there, trust me. Every two minutes, he runs into the restaurant next door and orders Coca-Cola just so he can flirt with the pretty waitress in there. Well, what's wrong with that? There's no restaurant next to that gym. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I wash dishes. Sunflower, is there anybody you can lick? I can lick any guy on the street, anybody on the street. I'll bet. Looking at a pretty tough guy. How about that guy standing over there? Can you lick him? Well, that guy is a pretty big guy, ain't he? He's about six foot tall, weighs about two hundred ten pounds. Oh, give me a break, boy. I'm a, give me something lighter, something lighter. Okay. How about that fella coming out of the drugstore? Oh, only oh, the five foot six. And uh, weighs about 165 pounds with a mustache. Uh, oh, he seems to be in a hurry. Let the older going back to Capistrano early, aren't you? <laughs> Pick out something smaller, could you? You see the Boy Scout helping that old lady across the street? Hold my coat. <laughs> you better hold that Boy Scout, too, because I don't want that old lady getting any help from me. <laughs> oh, I'll see you later. Yeah, I got to go way in for my bout tonight. I'll see you down at the gum. The what? The, the gym. <laughs> the gym? Yeah, Jim Corbett. Who's Jim Corbett? <laughs> this is Rod O'Connor saying, remember, in refrigerators, home freezers, gas, and electric ranges, washers and water heaters, everything Norge makes, Norge makes right. Make it a point to visit your Norge dealer soon. See the new Norge self-starter gas range, the range that doesn't waste gas on ever-burning pilot lights, but starts surely and safely with electricity. The range with a balanced heat oven that bakes evenly from corner to corner. The range with exclusive spiralator burners that focus the flame for faster, cleaner cooking. 
Yes, see the new Self Starter Gas Range at your Norge dealers right away. And now until next week, this is Red Skelton saying thanks for listening and reminding you that you won't know what you're missing if you don't see Norge. <laughs> Join us again next week for the Red Skelton Show. Red Skelton is heard in this program through the courtesy of Metro Golden Mayor Studios. This is a copyrighted feature transcribed from Hollywood. This is the CBS Radio Network.